Okay, so if you guys have been watching this channel, you know, a little bit, you might know that there's this race called Bahama West Mamma Mia, created by Bob Jilly, that I'm extremely fond of for several reasons. First of all, you can, it's a short race, it's only, you know, a kilometer or so, and it happens, it starts and it leaves you off right next to one of my apartments. Actually, this is my first ever real apartment -y apartment. And what you do is you can drive the whole race, you know, in solo mode. If you run the clock out to 8 minutes, you get $8,408. That's one of the standard ways I make money, actually, is this race right here. It's a nice little troll track if you're going to get people to race you because it's so tight. I mean, if you don't have a, you don't have it as a non-contact race, things are going to get really interesting. I like to go through and do the first lap clean as possible, get the clean lap bonus. And then, of course, the second lap, you, know, you can do your stunts or drive all around, or if I'm busy, I'll get a screwdriver, jam it in the keyboard, and let whatever vehicle I have spin its tires for the requisite eight minutes. Or longer, but I mean, you know, eight minutes is what you need to max out the money you're going to get. And you need at least two laps. I think you get half the money if you do a one-lap race. See, now things can get silly if we so choose. Um, I'm bringing this up for something completely otherwise here. Let's... Let me zip around here, I'll, I'll get cut to the chase. So one of my favorite moves, especially with a motorcycle, because you can't really do it otherwise, is to wall ride up the maze bank here. Usually I can get up a little higher. But of course, naturally, you're trying to make a point of it. But I love doing that. This is the, one of the places I like this to trick stunt out with, and we're going to have to back it up a little bit here to get the... I, that, I apparently smashed myself in the garage so hard that it killed me there. That was kind of interesting. So this particular building always been, you know, a warm spot for me. You know what I mean? And, you know, this race is great because, you know... Okay, that didn't work nearly as well as I hoped. Try it again. Right about here. Yep. That normally works perfectly. There we go! Just had to not have people watching and then I could do it properly. And here we have it. This is kind of like one of my favorite neighborhoods. There's the finish of the race. When you when you go free mode, it drops you right off either right there or right there. Right out in front. My apartment's right there. I think that's the Del Perro Heights. And so this is like a cool place. One of the nice things that is about this Maze Bank building is that now you can buy offices there, of course, with the CEO update. And all right, well, that's nothing really hyper new. But if you watch this video soon enough, you know, in the next few days, I'm going to try and hustle this one out. It's on... Ugh! I might like, kick right off of there. It is on sale for 50% off. So it's apparently it's normally a million buckaroonies. Now you can get it for 500000 And uh, that's kind of a serious discount. Now apparently, you, uh, there's really no difference between any of the CEO offices. The interiors are all the same. It's just a matter of what view you get. And uh, for me, the view outside that office, just if I could see the, the Bahama Mamma Mia and my apartment, that's the, you know, the convenience there, I think, is... Uh, better than having, you know, the Oceanside view of the Lombard Bank for, like, triple the money across the way. And the convenience of having it right next to my apartment, you know, that's, that's nice. I'm not sure I'm even going to go for the, uh, the accommodations because I've got accommodations next door. You know, save even more money. Although I may get it. Oh, gee. yeah, it's... The, the Haikachaku is not making the, uh... Not making the little jumps today. I don't know why. It's just fighting with me. Apparently that's true about that thing with wheeling. If you're accelerating and you hit a wheelie, it goes faster. And there's, I think it has something to do with the, uh, ah, 
something to do with the gyroscopic effect where they try to simulate. Basically, you're aiming gravity in the direction you want because the physics engine isn't perfect. But, that's a complete sidebar. Because the other one I want is, of course, here the Lombard Bank, which gives you this stunning view out here of, you know, the whole downtown this side of the, of the coast, and you can see all the Ferris wheels, and it's very pretty. Um, but it's three times as much money, and, you know, I've only got a million seven. And, you know, just for the interest of the video, we will, we'll, we'll take a... We'll take a little less money this time. Just... You finished first. I always finish first when I'm alone. As you can see here, for that much, you get about five grand. But if you pull out to the eight minutes, you get the eight eighty-four oh eight. And, you know, I, I'm here. I'm the winner. Yay! And when you free mode out, look where you're at. I often use this race just to teleport myself across the map if, you know, I really don't feel like driving. Right across from Bahamas. I wish they would open up Bahama West Mamas here. And, of course, you know, this is... Here's my uh, apartment. So, I mean, this would be a really convenient place to get a building. So, if, we, if you look at it now... It's kind of a life is good sort of thing. Here it is. Now, normally a million, it's 500,000. This is normally three million. It's two doors down. And yes, you can see all the, the stuff over here, and it's really great, but there's no additional functionality. You can always upgrade. So let's look at this. You know, we can get the decor. Old Spice classical. I kind of like that. You know, Old Spice. It's a whole map of uh, everything on your desk there. That's kind of cool. We get a shot at the... Uh, let's see. But you have to pay separately just for the decor. Okay, so if you have Executive Rich, it's free. These are all a little bit more. Wow. Well, I think we're going to go with the free decor. Personnel. Your choice is here, male or female. I think we definitely go with the female secretary, just because. Why not, right? Okay. Organization name. And organization. Let's, of course, base and system. Dude, that's it. That's all you get? Let's just use B-A. Can we use the small letters? Or with the full tag go. There you go. Damn, they capitalize it. There's a long tradition of the small letters in the base tag, but you know. I like it. Font one. We gotta change fonts. Font two. Perfect. That's probably that's good too though. So many fonts here. Oh, I like this. That's kind of neat. Not sure. Let's see. Which one do we want to go with? Definitely one of the smaller fonts. Again, for the long tradition. Thirty minutes later. That looks like last. I think we're gonna go with that one. Font thirteen. Black is good. Gun locker. That's three hundred ninety thousand dollars. It's on sale though. At 890, that still would leave you with 900,000. The safe, that's ex awfully expensive for the safe, and the safe is supposedly absolutely pointless. Accommodation. All right, this would now almost bankrupt me. 
And I've got an apartment next door, so I'm thinking... Don't know the functionality of the gun locker. So we're talking bare bones here. Just enough to get the to get the deal going. Wow, it sounds like it's pouring rain out here someplace. Probably on top of me. While I'm looking at my phone buying a building here. So we've got that much, five hundred thousand. The gun locker gun locker is kind of a nice touch, and you can keep stuff in the gun locker, right, if you want to. Total, 890,000. What if we said no gun locker, and kept the accommodation? A million. I still wouldn't have enough to get the helicopter I want. Eh. It's such a hard decision. I mean, if you really want to get the whole thing tricked out. Gun locker and a safe. What are you looking at? One for just about more money than I have. Really, safe is just decorative. The gun locker would be kind of nice. Well, I guess I can always buy the same place again later and add some of these things in. Now, I'll tell you, I'll show you why in a moment. I want to keep a certain amount of money in the bank here. Let's buy this. Return to the map. All right, so we've got that. I'm being completely soaked. Let's at least get into uh, CEO. You are now the CEO of base. This is your new assistant checking in. I'm in the office. Looking great, by the way. And I'm ready to get started. We can get to work on the new Securo Serve special cargo network. Uh, oh, well, I cut myself off there because it's raining. Screwed that up. Okay, well. Can I call her back? I'm by my machine. None of your vehicles are currently impounded. Ooh, you can recover your vehicle from impound or request a luxury helicopter. Which is the other thing I was planning on doing. We need to... Go to Travelsy into the Warstock. Okay, there's another sale going on here. The Buzzard Attack Helicopter. Yes, that's quite luxurious, isn't it? Let's see. The cargo bobs are still a million some. But the Buzzard is on sale for basically half price. And that's why you'll see why I wanted to save a little extra money. You know, now I have a helicopter. See, I never had a helicopter before. Now, these two things kind of work together. And let me show you. I'm going the wrong way. It's raining outside, so we may as well at least get something to drive in here. What do we want to cruise in? Well, yeah, I'm a CEO. Let's take something expensive. Just to keep us out of the rain. You know, you just need a, an empty XF just to keep you dry. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. I thought they would deliver it to you. Darn it, I have to go get it. Where is the nearest airfield? All the way down. Uh, okay, so I just spent basically $900,000 to 
to get a helicopter that's always landed in a place where I normally steal helicopters. Not sure of the practicality of this, but at least it's mine and I love the color. Now, what we should be able to do... I know I'm not going to blast the crap out of anything. But we should be able to fly back to our offices and land on the rooftop helipad and then enter the offices from the helipad. And it just felt silly to have a helipad and not have the helicopter to go with it. Here we go. Press, okay, they have an automatic landing kind of thing going on. Let's see if we get that again. Let's do that again. Because I thought I was going to have to manually land this puppy. Which, the wind is blowing me away, even though I'm... Ooh, auto landing! Like, I actually know what I'm doing. Welcome to your office, boss. I'm your new executive assistant. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. The recreational area slash breakout space, going through to the executive suite. We're all set up to grow this company with everything a modern executive could want. There's the boardroom. The panels are easily swapped, so you can install a gun locker or a safe whenever you want to. Ah, I can upgrade it. It's possible to knock through here and add some personal quarters. Somewhere to lie down, take some me time. Look at the Dynasty 8 site for details. Most important of all, though, is your executive terminal. Here's where you'll access the Securo Serve special cargo network to take this operation to another level. I'll tell you all about it when you first log in. So that's it. Take a look around, get settled in. I'm at the front desk or on the end of the phone whenever you need me. Good to see you, boss. I cannot tell you how happy it makes me to see that sign. And the fact that apparently I can do upgrades, you know, progressively, you know? And here, this is the discount view. I rather like it. Now, it's not the, the Mahama Mamma Mia side of things. It's still cool. Certainly for a third of the price of the other one, it's good enough. Have some wine. You can sit down here at the board table. Now. You can you can face a direction, you know, all right, as I'm we could you could talk, you can actually have fake board meetings. That's that's a nice touch. Got a TV. Tuck the chair back in. And we'll get into the whole playing of it in another video. But it's the main thing here. Oh, let's see. What? How can you interface with her at all? Hello. What can I do for you? Let's see. Anything to keep you productive, boss. Ooh. It's the general. So I've got myself a cola from her. Hi there. That's funny. Hi. Now let's see if we go out here. Exit vehicle, exit to roof on foot. Is my helicopter still there? It should be. Go on up. Lester. Uh, listen, uh, give me a shout if you ever want to do a bounty. It's an easy way to make some money. Oh. And it is still there. I still have my helicopter. This is, I think, probably one of the nicer upgrades I've done to my, uh, my establishment here. 
So BASE is an official business here, folks. BASE and System Services. Established 2004. Or actually, 804 AS, depending on how you want to look at it. And on this note, this is the Black Knight in his brand new helicopter. Have a great night. I should also add, there's a bunch of other double RP, double money kind of deals going on with the executive missions and kind of stuff like that. It's a good time to be a CEO.